What's up, wrestling fans? There's so much news about so much, to be honest. There's just so much damn news out there. It's kind of almost unbelievable. The Vince McMahon documentary. I mean, this this documentary was ready to come out, and it was going to paint Vince McMahon in an amazing light. And I think that's the biggest issue with the documentary. You know, it, you know honestly, I wish the documentary came out, or if they edited the documentary, like if it had ended. Like, imagine at the end of the documentary, it ends on a happy note and Vince McMahon raising his hands, and then all of a sudden a bla it turns black and white, and then a voice comes on and intense music hits, like, gung, 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 gung. This is how this documentary of Vince McMahon would have ended. However, following this WrestleMania, blah, 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 and then they go into all the allegation stuff, Vince McMahon remains in turmoil to this day. And, like, they, they sort of need to turn it into, like, a whole, like, like, you know, you watch the documentary, yes, okay, but now where are they now? This is where Vince is right now. You know, feel free to do that. Or you could just release the documentary the way it was supposed to be because the, the documentary was made under the, you know, what they information they knew about Vincent Mann at the time. And it's already done. You know, it's like there's documentary documentaries about people from 2008 that, you know, Harvey Weinstein, they're probably... People talked about that guy a long time before they realized what was going on and things kind of changed. So what's the, you know, but the bottom line is we're never going to get this. Uh, we're just never going to get this documentary. It's just never going to come out. It, it should because it's so good probably. And they did all that stuff at WrestleMania to promote what they were, to basically to show Vince in a good light. This big, massive thing for Vince, basically. And um, yeah, they just, uh, it's just gone now. The other day, Velveteen Dream showed up at a uh, independent wrestling event. Um, I think he might have wrestled under his regular name, Patrick Clark, or I think. Uh, so I'm not 100% on all that. But uh, I guess one of the big problems is that they they brought him out as a surprise. And that's the problem because, you know, people didn't know he was going to be there. Maybe somebody wouldn't have bought a ticket. Maybe somebody wouldn't have gone if they knew this guy was going to be there or whatever. Um, obviously, I don't know what's going on with Velveteen Dream. I, I consider it this, that the guy isn't in jail for anything. You know, I don't know about concrete evidence that the guy did something 100%. You know, so I don't cared that much at this point because I don't know what's really up with the guy I really don't you know if he did something and he went to jail or or something like that then there would be an issue I would have you know and we'd have problems or if he'd really done something by the way I want to welcome Arush and Chu back to the Patreon he's always been on the Patreon for a long time and he's always been donating for a long time and a member for a long time and whatever but he is back on the Patreon in the five dollar spot, so thank you to Arush and Chu. I also uh, dropped a couple of big ones this past couple of weeks. What do you guys think about Velveteen Dream? Should he be wrestling on the Indies? Should he be wrestling in a company again? What do you think? The guy was ready to go, man. He was going to be one of the biggest things, and then he just fizzled out at the end of that NXT run for whatever reason. Man, I'm still thinking about the Vince McMahon Netflix thing. Please let that come out. Oh, my God. Why? We heard so much about it for so long, and then, it oh, it's not coming out. It's irritating the hell out of me. I, I think that the, the waking up. I don't know why Vince Russo goes here, but let's hear this. Terrifies them. Well, you you got you got you got Melza who's dying his hair jet black, and he's older than me, bro. Then you got Sap, bro. Nobody has brought this up but me, and I want you to go back and look at some, some footage to verify this. Sap is wearing a hairpiece. That that patch in the middle is, bro. Without that, he looks like you remember Larry from the Three Stooges. <laughs> yeah, and bro, freaking Houseman is doing the Donald Trump comb, comb over, bro. This, I, I think that the I'm losing, and I'm, I've lost my hair. I got to do the comb over too. Um, every time Nick, why is Vince Russo obsessed with people's hair? Like, I this was, this was a question about Vince Russo and how Vince Russo. I mean, this was a question about Dave Meltzer 
and about how Dave Meltzer, you know, is kind of a mess and having a meltdown, you know, on Twitter and things like that. And Meltzer is a mess. But instead, Vince Russo focuses on the hair of all these people. And I guess, you know, if you were to tie it in to say, well, they're fake, is that that's what we're getting at? These people are fake, which, you know, I pretty much agree with for the most part that, you know, a lot of these wrestling journalist people are just all fake, idiot, asshole, scumbag people. I agree. But, you know, to, why are we focused on their hair, though? Like, what does that matter? Like, he's just like, and let me tell you, bro, Meltzer dyes his hair and Sap's hair might not be real. We have to verify that. We don't know if uh, Sap's hair is real. And, uh, you know, Hausman does a comb over. I don't know, bro. All, all I know is this. Who cares about their hair? Nick Hausman is a shyster who suckered Eric Bischoff into stupid crap, and Nick Houseman ripped off other people's names to use on his podcast. Nick Houseman kind of sucks, right? Um, Sean Ross Sapp is an evil person, like an actual evil goblin. Um, and Dave Meltzer is a, I don't know, what do you call him? Like, like Dave Meltzer is questionable. That's what I'll say. I think Dave Meltzer is questionable and, you know, but, but like out of all of them, I, you know, Dave Meltzer, I give him the most credit because at least I feel like he would try to be fair, but he's the most compromisable or compromised maybe like whichever way the buck sw you know, swings, he might go that way with Dave Meltzer. So, but th that's what they are, but who cares about their hair? Who gives a shit about their hair, bro? Like what is, what is going on with Vince? Oh, my God, man. But that's about the type of wrestling news there is today, as you can see. So uh, enjoy this replay. Look at it. Remember, remember this episode of Monetize This? I mean, you know, and he's he, this is a hard thing to overcome because we're all dead right now. So the crowd's dead. So, like, it's going to be hard to be funny now because oh, we're like, oh. Well, production value oh, alone is not that funny. hard. This is pretty good, though. Yeah, it's like the new Titanic I'll movie. Fuck you all. I'll fuck your mouth. <laughs> Wow. In China. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> now with my time spent over in the Far East. He is in China right now. China. I have learned a few things. Something about the concept of forgive and forget. Oh, now no. we all know that's something our god Zhao Crowning would do. Except you, Drew. Fuck you. Drew, I learned your wife likes a cream pie with a side of bacon. All right, pause it, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we have our winner already. There okay. it is. Save the day. I mean, he got me there. He Just saved because it. Because it was funny to hear the change to the pig. <laughs> side of bacon. Let's calm down there. Now, as I said, Fucking eyes. time is but an illusion. So the only real question left is who's fucking next? Oh. What's happening to my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Started playing, oh did he God. say what's happening to my ass? <laughs> yeah, he said, Oh, I think I heard that too. what's that happening to, to my ass? Send me that video because that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Dude, just the end where he starts <laughs> dancing is fucking I'll send it to you. Let's Taylor. see what the part where he starts shaking his ass. Fucking next. <gasps> What's happening? What's to happening ass? to my ass? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's, 
<laughs> and he's fucking dancing and he's going, oh, oh. <laughs> That is so, dude. That is funny. We should hire this guy, honestly. He's I've been amazing. saying it, man, and fucking, we almost lost him. But uh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's happening to my ass? <laughs> <laughs> that 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 wow. that 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 I love how it says that fucking cunt as soon as she pops up. Oh. That fucking I wonder cunt. if that was intentional. No, he did that on purpose. He definitely did. Because of the cunt thing. The I'm going to expose oh all you. I'm going to fuck your daddy. I'm going to fuck the daddy issues out of you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Where the Show us some Come diet pills. Yeah. I, wanna, I just want to smash it up. Finish it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, what are you waiting for? Advertise your channel. Yeah, my name is um Yeah, I got I got a YouTube channel. Mm. I got okay. a Twitter. I got a Twitter. I'm on Facebook. You can anybody can hit me up. Oh my God. I'd rather stay on the call with you here though, if we could keep it here, because the last girl was like trying to get me to fucking I don't know, like email or something. I'm like, no, I don't do that. I do like I don't do email, I do phone calls. Oh, cool. Well, I have the same mentality. Yeah, I'm going to mentally fuck you up. <laughs> oh, yeah? How so? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking, I'm going to put on a gorilla suit and I'm going to tickle your fucking grundle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? What's my grundle? You know what's ready? I'm going to tongue you down. Yeah. Nah. Ryback TV. Finish it. There's the advertisement. <laughs> do the, <laughs> well, do the, do the I right want you noise. to tongue me, but... Fuck yeah. I don't know what a grundle is. Under That's the spot you know, yeah. under your fucking right... Oh my god, you don't know what it is? Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck... Uh, uh, say grundle again, please. <laughs> oh, why should I? Oh. If you want to explain what it is, why yeah. should I say it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so close. Say it's the spot. <laughs> it's right under your fucking, like, the little... Little taint spot under your ass and between your pussy and your ass. That little that spot up in there. You know, you like sometimes. Oh my god! Come on, say say fucking <laughs> fit into my grundle. Yeah. The spikes. Oh my god! I think you should say it. Oh uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, it's time, Ryback Roar. Uh. <laughs> You're the one roaring. You're the one roaring. How are you gonna put her in a pit of? Pumpkin? I'm gonna put you in a. This lady's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. What am I gonna do to you? I'm gonna put you in a pit of cocks. Have you ever been? I'm gonna put you in a pit of cocks. Pit of cock. <laughs> My god, deity. Pit of cock. Finish. Mm, yeah. Tell me you want me to finish it. <laughs> Tell me you want me to finish you. Finish it. Why? Are you like Hulk Hogan or something? No. Ryback. Right no, my name is Ryback. My name is Ryback. Oh, I know what your name is. You I mean, that sounds you... like a stupid. No stage name anyway. Yeah, well, this is being recorded for your information. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not a stage name, it's real. Hulk Hogan's a cunt. I am going to finish in it. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, then why do you both act and sound the same? <laughs> I don't sound, what the fuck? I don't sound oh anything like God. Hulk Hogan. What I don't sound, fuck? let me, you want me to, do you want me to do my impression of Hulk Hogan right now for you? If you want, yeah. Well, I'm going to show you why you're fucking fucked. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this is Hulk Hogan. Are you ready? My name is Ryback Ryan, uh, Dave Rose Ryback Ryan. All right. But here's oh. fucking Hulk Hogan. He's like this. Well, you know something, dude. Hulkamania is running wild all over you, brother. And today, Hulkamania is gonna say something really fucked up, dude. Like Devious Dave Rose is a fag, brother. 
<laughs> oh, that literally sounds exactly the Yeah, same I don't sound, sound. No, I don't sound like. What the fuck? Are you kidding me right now? Really? What the fuck are you saying right now? I don't even believe. What? what I call it pay $20 so some girl can call me fucking Hulk Hogan? Hulk fucking Kogan? That guy sucks dick. Well, Private cell hurts the muscle powder. Too, he does. I mean, he's down the lake. I do not. Let me. Let me. Oh my god! I'm really gonna fucking freak out. I'm really gonna freak the fuck out. I sound nothing like Hulk Hogan. Oh, you gonna Hulk out? You gonna Hulk out? I, oh, what, what the know. fuck are you <laughs> saying? To me right now? Oh my god! You're really fucking. Oh my god! Oh I'll my never god. get hard again. I will never get hard again. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Just say Grundle Tell again. Right back I want to. I want to get back. Do you let me tell you something. Have you ever had Fat Body Extreme? <laughs> fat Body Extreme? Yeah. That was yeah. How about fucking you and you never run again for me, please? Could you do that? Um, you wanna play with that Grundle? Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> one time uh, only offer, 20% off one, to suck my dick. One time only offer to <laughs> suck. Oh, say Grundle again. I'm almost there. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, you almost uh, there. We better keep stroking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, 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 yeah, yeah.